Hello. Oil prices continue to rise, boosted by a tighter supply outlook, while investors await OPEC's monthly oil market report due later today, as well as the International Energy Agency's report due tomorrow. The deadly storm that disrupted four oil export terminals in Libya also fueled supply concerns. The batch of macroeconomic data due this week, including U.S. CPI data due tomorrow and the ECB's interest rate decision on Thursday, is also likely to impact oil prices. Oracle reported fiscal first quarter results yesterday after the market's close, posting $1.19 EPS on $12.45 billion revenue. Analysts had expected EPS of $1.15 and revenue of $12.44 billion. Shares fell about 3% following the report, and the decline extended to as much as 9% after the management offered a soft outlook for the current quarter during the earnings call. The company's cloud revenue is seen growing at 28% in constant currency, below the 29% reported for the first quarter, leading to investor concerns. Packaging companies Westrock and Smurfit Kappa have agreed to merge, creating the world's largest listed paper and packaging company valued at nearly $20 billion. Smurfit Kappa shares fell in London trade, while Westrock stocks jumped up during New York pre-market trading. Analysts noted that the premium offered by Smurfit Cap was higher than many investors had expected. As Philip Capital Team, we wish you happy and healthy days.